It's one of the most beautiful places on Earth, and in many ways, untouched by time and progress. But for nearly three decades, a deadly enemy has preyed on the people living in the southern Philippines. The enemy, Abu Sayyaf, which stands for Father of the Sword. Its goal, make the southern islands an Islamic stronghold. Beheadings are the group's signature. They carried out that sentence against kidnapped American Guillermo Sobero simply because his ransom did not come on time. In 2002, terrorists assigned this man the chilling task of collecting Sobero's bones. If you don't pay the ransom, the Abu Sayyaf will kill you. If you don't pay taxes, they kill you. They are very angry with Christians, especially the foreign tourists. They want to Islamize the whole island of Basilan, but this is impossible because here the Christians and the Muslims live together. Emil, a government spy, also witnessed missionaries Martin and Gracia Burnham in captivity. I saw them bring their hostages. They walked to the jungle and the hostages were tied to each other. They were tall, white with straight noses. I reported this immediately to the military. When I was on Basilan Island 10 years ago, riding around in this tricycle would have been too dangerous. The Abu Sayyaf were always on the lookout for their next kidnapping victim, especially white Americans like me. For example, while covering the Burnham's kidnapping, seven armed bodyguards accompanied me at all times. And the day after we were there, the military closed the island to foreign journalists. Exact numbers are hard to come by, but it's clear the terror group has murdered thousands. The more infamous include 23 Philippine soldiers killed during a raid in 2009, 15 Filipino Marines beheaded during fierce fighting in 2007 and 2011. And just this year, they killed six rubber plant workers and injured another two dozen when the company did not pay its protection fee. Did they threaten your life? Yes, not only my life. Uh, they, were even, they even planted bombs. Mayor Roderick Fergai leads La Mitan, Basilan Island's safest city. Its population averages about 50% Muslim, 50% Christian. Fergai believes God called him to lead the city and protect the people from terrorists like the Abu Sayyaf, but it hasn't been easy. One of the bombs exploded in uh, just beside my house. In 2010, the Abu Sayyaf set off a bomb near the mayor's house, but his family was not injured. Despite many death threats, Fergai still wanted to make Lamitan a safe place for families and even tourists. Now our people is suffering, mm. so I have to come back yes. and uh, at least help the people again uh, to regain their confidence. Ten years ago, the Abu Sayyaf used this beautiful stretch of coastline on Basilan Island as a dumping ground for dead bodies. Today, thanks to the courage and conviction of a Christian mayor, this beach has been transformed into the tropical paradise it was always meant to be. Today, I can say that uh, they are safe. Uh, though, you know, uh, even in Metro Manila, there's this still a kidnapping thing. But uh, in Lamitan, I can say that they are safe. I really wanted to see that peace and uh, tranquility reigns in this place. Another man who has stayed despite death threats is Pastor Marlito Catapan. He says he's determined to be a light in the darkness. We need to have uh, full trust in God and stand your ground. The enemy is just around, but I still believe that uh, God is greater than anyone else. He says proof of that can be seen at his church's kindergarten, where more Muslim children attend than Christian. What amazes us so much is 70% of our children here are Muslims. You see? So that's how the Lord is working. Other good news, Abu Sayyaf's numbers are way down. They have dropped from about 1,200 strong in 2000 to fewer than 400 today. The credit goes to stronger military efforts along with more civilian cooperation. We're very confident and we're uh, uh, optimistic that uh, we will able to once and for all defeat the Abu Sayyaf group slowly but surely. Amil agrees the Abu Sayyaf is not as strong as it used to be. The Abu Sayyaf group has weakened through the years. From 200 in Basilan, they are down to 80. They recruit young boys and they don't have a strong leader. But Colonel Burgos warns the bandits have many sympathizers. 
especially outside main cities like Lamiton, where it's not considered safe. We need the cooperation of the people. It is the local officials who can help eradicate the Abu Sayyaf group. First of all, we need schools, electricity, and the ownership of guns should be regulated. One thing the mayor did was install video surveillance cameras around the city, as well as encourage the presence of U.S. troops. Meanwhile, sounds of praise are rising up from places like the mayor's office. Jesus Christ, his Many cling to God's promise that he will one day soon cut off their enemies and bring an end to the bloodshed, fear, and violence that has plagued their beautiful land for far too long. Wendy Griffith, CBN News, Basilan Island, Philippines.